Oh, look, there's water. Oh, we got a puddle of water. <laughs> I love it. I am a terraformation specialist, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, indeed. I created a puddle of water. Welcome back, everybody, to the Planet Crafter. I am the Bearded OG, and in this episode, we're going to start off by making ourselves some furniture, and then I think we're going to go do some exploration. Uh, so let's go ahead and hop on upstairs here and take a look and see what we got for furniture. Um, we're going to do a chair for our command center here. Uh, we'll do a bed, maybe a sofa. Double bed. Double bed uses a hell of a lot of fabric, though. That's like six pieces of fabric. Um, that would be two pieces of fabric, and that would be two pieces, and that would be three pieces. Um, oh, okay, well, here. Let's do the chair first. Because um, all of the fabric I have is just right here, so we don't have a ton of fabric. Um, and I think we needed... We need some iron too, so let's just grab some iron. Yeah, all of this stuff is just iron and fabric, except for the table also is a titanium. Um, so we'll grab one of those. Okay, so let's make the chair and we'll just put that right here in front of the command center. Okay, cool. Um, if we, do these beds actually do anything or are they just purely for funsies? Uh, I'm just trying to decide if I want to burn that much cloth on this or not. Um, what does this look like? So this just kind of attaches to the wall. And it uses half the fabric as the main bed does. How much fabric do I have left? I have eight pieces left. Um. Okay, well, let's just make the big bed. We'll do it and be done with it. So flip it around here, put you right there. And I don't think we can actually do anything with this. Uh, yeah, so it's probably just for decoration, but that's fine. Um, we could put a couch here. All right. And the table, we could put maybe right there, just to kind of give ourselves some decorations up here. We don't have a whole lot to work with, actually. Um, flower pot requires fertilizer, which we aren't able to make yet. Okay, so there you have it. Okay, now, <coughs> excuse me, gesundheit. Um, I would like to make the... Uh, the recycling machine, but we're going to need three super alloys, which we have none, but we, we can make, we can just make them, right? Um, so let's do that. Uh, we'll need three titaniums, three iron, three silicon, three mags, three cobalts, uh, three aluminum. I think that's everything. Okay, and then we also need to make two microchip deconstructors. So two silicons, two mags. Oops. Very good. All right, now we can make this. And I think... I think for now we'll put it over here. Uh, 
How much power does this thing use? 15. All right, we can't make another uh we can't make another nuclear power plant because we have enough uranium. So we're going to have to make another uh solar panel. So iron, mag, silicon, aluminum, two cobalts. Iron, mag, silicon, aluminum, and two cobalts. Okay, good. Um, let's go over here and pick this food so we can get more growing. And we'll eat the squash, which tops us off, and put the eggplants in here. Uh, I want to move, uh, I want to actually move the food production into the biodome. Uh, but I, we may not get to that this episode, because I want to go out and do some exploring in this episode. All right. So let's grab here. Let's go out here and I'm going to drink one of those. Grab the other one. I, I made a, a chest for water here so we can start accumulating that. Uh, do I have our, our two? Yeah. Okay. So let's go back over here. Uh, I'm going to keep the lower level stuff over, over here um, and not put it by the new base. I just hope that, you know, when the lake comes, yeah, we should have looked to see how much time we have left before we have water. You know, that it doesn't cover this area up over here. Um, it, maybe it does, maybe it doesn't, I don't know. But we'll see. Okay. That gets us back in business, power-wise. Um, alright, so... I think what we'll do is let's go back the base let's recycle um the extra equipment that we have you know what i need to make tier three veggie tubes but they're gonna use 8.7 yeah let's let's hold off on that until we can maybe get another nuclear reactor going that's kind of you know kind of sort of what's holding us up right now i mean i i could put a a crap ton more of solar panels down i suppose but Let's see if we can come across some uranium fairly soon here. And if we can't, then yeah, I'll just make a buttload of of uh, solar panels, T2 solar panels, to keep us going in the power. It's just that, you know, a few of the things that we've set up more recently have, uh, you know, use a lot of power. But that's part of what happens, you know, as you progress and use higher level stuff. Okay, so... Let's take two waters with us, and let's take... Uh, do we have any more cobalt in here? Yeah. Maybe three oxygens. There we go. We're sporting a... Wait a minute, what? We only have a T3 backpack? I thought we could make a T4. We can. Oh, we need super alloy for that. Okay, let's make some more super alloy. All right, so we need one iron, one titanium, because we need an extra titanium for the backpack. A silicon, a cobalt, a magnesium, and an aluminum. Wait, wait, we need three though, right? Yeah, shit, <laughs> we need three. Okay, so two more of those. Um, two more of those, two more of those. Silicon, titanium, two more of those. And two more aluminum. There we go. Uh, okay, super alloy, super alloy, super alloy, and tier four backpack. Nice, okay, so that adds, uh, that adds another row to our backpack. Which is a wonderful thing. Now, um, okay, so why don't we take... I don't want to screw around too much having to make um, extra buildings. Well, you know what, though? We'll, we'll pick up what we need as we go along to do that. Um, but if we get to the point where we've used our last O2 bottle, 
then, you know, then we definitely have to do that. Let's top off our food one more time here. Uh, so we have full food. Um, I might even bring a couple with us just so we can stay out a little bit longer. We'll top off our water and let's go. All right. So um, I want to over over off that way. There is another ship and I want to investigate that ship. But what we're going to do along the way is one of you guys pointed out to me in the comments that when I was in this uh, wreck over here, I missed a microchip. Um, so we're going to go grab that first. So we have it. And then we'll proceed further that direction, basically to the east. East by southeast. Um, and, and go investigate that ship that we saw over there. In fact, yeah, it just, I just saw it there a second ago. It is right there. And it, it assuming it's in some other biome too. I don't know what that biome is yet. Until we get over there. Let's pop in here real quick and replant our O2. These should all be empty, but, oh, okay. Well, we got a silicon and a, I guess we have one of those too. Um, but we're, you know, we'll be going back into the ship later when we have higher tools because there's more stuff that we can break down. Also, let's try our new flashlight. Yeah, that is definitely better than, than the tier one flashlight. Okay. I think the place that I was in was up stairs. I don't remember if it was this side or the other side. And there was a uh, there, there was a, a, a little blue box in one of these lockers that I missed. Yeah, right here. Look at that. Fantastic. Okay, cool. And then we'll deconstruct that. Okay, cool. We got ourselves an another microchip. Let's go back out this way. Yeah, this light is huge, you guys. It makes it so much easier to get around in here. I like it. I like it a lot. All right, we're just going to store this in here for now. And uh, I'm actually going to grab these things because we will need them to create a new building. In fact... We need, okay, what do we need? We need three iron, two titanium, one silicon uh, to make the door. And then we'll probably also want to make uh, a tier two crafting station as well. Very good. Okay. That's just another titanium. We get completely topped off. Okay, let's go. We're going to investigate some new territory here. We'll see what this wreck's all about. Uh oh. Okay, so this must be like the lava zone. That's cool. And it's got it's got iridium. Okay, good to know. We have a huge supply of iridium though in the crater as well. Okay, so yeah, let's go around this way. There's more iridium up there. I am kind of curious though. Is there anything out this way? There is quite a bit of iridium over here. There's a blue chest. All right, we'll take the chip. Uh, yeah, I think I'm going to leave the rest of this here. Wow, there's a lot of iridium out here. Goodness. Nice. But it looks like that goes off into no man's land. So we're probably at the extreme southern end of the map based upon that. Okay. So let's go back over this direction. Well, we know where to come to get iridium if uh, 
we exhaust the, the full supply, you know, at the crater. What's this? Obsidian. That's new. All right. Let's grab a little bit of that and we'll put it in our rare ores chest. Because I'm sure we're going to need it at some point. I don't want to grab a whole mess of it. Let's just grab four for now. I'm really surprised how much iridium is around here. Too bad it wasn't uranium. These are like gi ginormous obsidian thingies. Okay, here's another chest. Uh, a sulfur and a uranium. We'll take both of those. The rest of that stuff we're going to leave here for the nonce. All right. And we're going to need some O2 here. Oh, look at that. Super alloy. Beautiful. And more super alloy. And oh, wow. That's a lot of super alloy. Very cool. Well, that was worth the price of admission right there, as I'm fond of saying. Goodness gracious, it's all over the place. That's fantastic. Um, we need some more iron. We're already running out of space, though, is the problem here. That's all just... Basic stuff there. Okay, let's go over this direction. Uh, there we go. Okay, we have one more slot. We need actually need another piece of iron to make a uh, a way a waypoint structure. All right, so let's um let's move over towards the ship, which it looks like it's is that it over there? It must be. I think. I'm not seeing any more super alloy, but we found this many on the ground. That's that's really good. There's iridium for days over here, man. <laughs> Don't think we ever have to worry about running out of that stuff. Oh shit! What was that? I must have stepped on some lava. Alright. Note to self. Don't step on lava it is bad for your health okay let's get over by this ship and then we'll set down a uh a structure in fact you know what so we don't have to burn an o2 let's just uh do it now and then we'll just move it again wow yeah that hurt okay More obsidian that way. This looks like a pretty good sized ship. Uh, the question is, where would the entrance to it be? Not seeing it over here. Okay. Let's see if we can um, scooch up here. Might be down there. This seems to me like it might be a good spot for a a golden chest or something hidden up here. I 
hydration level is critical. Hmm, okay. There's no entry on this end. So it's just really kind of a matter of figuring out where the entrance is. I don't suppose we could go up in there. It doesn't look like it. Hmm. That goes way the hell down there. Okay, let's take one of those. That's a, that's a ways down there, isn't it? Um, okay, I guess let's go down there and see if that's where the entrance is. I'm going to take both of those to save a couple slot, slots and get us um, our health topped off. And we need an O2 also. Just want to go take a quick look see over here because this looks like a place where something could be hidden. No, nope. doesn't appear like there's anything over here. Okay. No, not here either. Well, how the hell do you get into this thing? I can't even go any further that way. Huh. What about up here? That's like the bridge. The ship is enormous. Does this hurt? No, that doesn't hurt. Okay, yeah, I don't uh, I don't know how we're supposed to get into here. Maybe we're not. Let's go over Let's just look around here again for a minute Hmm I mean this seems like a hatch But it looks like a That's actually a thruster Don't want to go down that way. All right. Well, I I don't see an obvious way into this ship. So uh, here, let's save ourselves an O2 bottle. So that being the case, I don't think we'll set up a permanent structure here. But we definitely know where we can come back and get more iridium and obsidian uh, if and when we need to. That's a long ways down. I don't think that's an entryway there. Oh shit! I, I didn't. I didn't double tap my spacebar to activate the thing so we just broke our leg yeah yes i wonder if there's like an underground tunnel or something that we go through to get into that ship 
Uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know the answer to that question. Okay, let's look around a little bit more just in the lava biome in general. It's possible that that ship becomes available to us later. After, you know, maybe something changes with the planet from terraformation, maybe? I don't know. I don't know the answer. Uh, okay. Yeah. Uh, again, just basic stuff there. I'm going to leave it there for now. Oh, look at this. Okay. We got uh, one an underground bunker place. Nice. Okay, let's um let's set this back up here. And um we'll go down there and see you know if, if it's substantial at all. No, it's just another two compartment. Oh, no, wait a minute though. Oh, look at this. You're kidding me. It goes under the lava? Oh, that is awesome. What's that? What are those? I don't know. I can't pick them up. Okay, here. Let's go back up to, to here. And, um, okay, good. We got more uranium. I'm going to leave the rest of that there for the moment. Uh, though... We should probably grab those Nolna seeds. Okay, let's go down here. Uh, we got a locker there and a thingy to read. Um, I really wish we could take this stuff apart, you know? Okay, what do we got in here? Oh man, seriously? Why do we keep finding frickin' eggplant? Can't we get something a little better, game? Ah, for Pete's sake. Alright, I'm gonna leave that shit in there. It's disappointing. Um, let's see what this has to say. This new place is a bit warmer than my last camp, but I'm still extremely cold. It's been two days since I, I run out of food. How about ran out of food? I miss my family. I'm so lonely. I've lost all hope. I will have to move out soon. I'm terrified of going outside once again. It's so dark. And so cold. Alright, someone named... Zeodon. Huh. That's trippy, though, that this is under the lava, or at least part of it, anyway. Yeah, but what what a disappointment. I mean, geez, Louise, what the hell? Uh, oh, wait a second. Oh, it goes down further? All right, here, let's go back up here. Okay. Um, we need to make a chest... So let's find some iron. We'll look for uh, th three pieces of iron so we can make a locker. There we go. Yeah, I mean, if that goes down further, then we'll definitely investigate. this oh uh, we might as well make a crafting station too so that way we can replenish our oxygen and all that so we need a silicon and another iron I have I only have one water bottle left so we'll have to be cognizant of that uh, but I do want to also make another oxygen bottle as well. Okay. All of that can stay in here. Grab two of those and those. Make the crafting station. And make another O2 bottle. Okay, we are we're getting low on food too, so we don't have a lot of time left. Uh, but let's just go. Maybe we can find some food in here. Okay, so that was the first level. Um, if I remember, I'll try and grab the Nolna seeds on the way out. Okay, this is the third level down. Okay, there's a chest in there and a locker here. Uh, okay, we'll take the uranium for sure. Oh, that's a trap.
trip. Uh, what's this say? But now I am a captive, bodily in irons in a dungeon, and mentally imprisoned in one idea, one horrible, one hideous, one unconquerable idea. I have only one thought, one conviction, one certitude, condemned to death. Kind of depressing, man. Okay, can we... Um, uh, yeah, we can take that door apart. Okay. Uh, what do we got in here? Okay, well, we'll take the uranium and the cloth and the chip. Um... I think I'll also take the Nolna. And eh, what the hell, we'll take that too. But the rest of this stuff is not not that big a deal. Is that... That's all the further we can go, right? I think so. Okay, let's take these Nolnas. Um, the rest of that stuff is just not valuable enough to take up a slot. Too bad we couldn't loot those. They look like O2 bottles. Um Yeah, I'm not going to I'm not going to take that stuff. Let's take that and grab those nolnas. And we need to Can we carry all of this? No, we can't. Okay. Uh we'll leave the We'll leave that there. We want all the alloys and the uranium. Let's let's just leave an obsidian here too, because we know we can get a ton of it when we need it. Okay. Um, I I'm gonna have to leave this here too because we don't have room to take it apart. So we'll just leave that there. And yeah, it, that ship uh, that ship was kind of a bust for us. I mean. I don't know if uh, I missed something and there is a way in, but it certainly wasn't apparent to me, so what's over here? It's kind of like a lava cavern. Uh, there's lots of iridium around. But yeah, let's... Uh, we need to get back home uh, to get some food, or we're going to have some problems here. So let's do that. I'd like to know if there's more super alloy on the ground around here. There probably is. Uh, I haven't seen any more, though, since the first that first little batch that we got. go through here and oh yeah here we go that's actually not far away uh, at all from our our spot here okay let's head back to the base and get our food our health topped off and then we'll have to figure out what our next move is Let's put the super alloys in here. The obsidian and the sulfur is going to go in there. Uranium. We need, if, if we can find one more of these, then we can make another rod and make another power plant. Okay, we'll pick all this food here. Eat the squash and two eggplant. Uh, don't have room for the Nolna seeds in there for now, so I am going to move, um, well, I mean, actually the plan is to try to think if we have, I think we have all of our highest level flowers already planted over at the other base where the veggie tubes are. But anyway, I want to make uh, a bunch of the, um the tier threes and put the oh we could recycle this stuff right okay let's grab all this this is all the stuff we pulled out of the the waterfall cave and so what do we do we put it oh we have to do it one at a time oh 
Okay, that's cool. All right, here, we'll come back to that. Um, let's go do these chips. Oh, you know what we can do, too? We can actually do the chips from here as well, right? No. Wait, can we? Yeah. If we go to this guy, then we can decode the chips here. An area lamp. Okay. And... A tier 2 GPS satellite. Alright, I'm my guess is that that will just cover more area than the tier 1. Seems like a reasonable guess, right? Okay, let's break down the rest of this stuff. I kind of like how this works. I, it would be kind of nice if we could do more than one at a time, though. <laughs> okay. We got a lot of cloth back on that deal. Okay, inventory's full. We'll put the cloth in there. Um, we still need to break down the exoskeleton. Put all the ores in their appropriate location. Okay, let's break down this exoskeleton. And we'll grab all of this stuff here. Okay, yeah, that's nice to have, actually. Very nice to have. It's just that we're probably not going to continue finding a big collection of parts like this. Uh, maybe we will, though. I don't know. Uh, we also need to do these oxygen tanks. There we go. I like it. Inventory's full. All right, let's get all this ore uh, put away. Okay. Um... Let's see here. Hydration is low. I want to make the launch platform soon, but it requires uh, 66 power. Uh, so we definitely need to make another nuke. Oh, you know what? We can make a grass spreader and start working on biomass. Um, how much power that does that use? That uses 16, a little over 16 power. We could make one currently. Okay, so what does this require? Two waters, a mag, an aluminum, and a lerma seed. Okay, grab the lerma seed. Two magnesiums. Uh, what was it again? Oh, and an aluminum. We'll start working on a front lawn. Okay, so let's put this right here. There we go. Then after a while, we'll start to see grass out in front of our house. Our very first uh, biomass production. One small step, right? Um, let's grab all of you and take one right now. Uh, you know what, too? I put the other ore extractor uh, in the, you know, the aluminum biome over there, and it's still just getting the basic ore, so I'm not sure if I'm doing something wrong uh, with that or not, but uh, yeah, so we'll have to figure that one out. There. I think uh, magnesium. Yeah, everything else is overflow. Let's put these extra waters in here, and these guys can go in here. Now, one thing we can do with all this extra ore is we could make more super alloys with them. So that's an option. All right, let's see. So we're missing one ore for, for making that. 
Let's go back here and chow down on that thing. Alright, is there anything else? There's not really a whole lot more we can make unless we want to make a bunch more solar panels, uh, tier 2 solar panels, which of course we can do. Um, maybe what we ought to do is do that and set up some tier 3 veggie tubes. So this uses 8.7 energy. That means we could set down two of these for every one of these. All right, why don't we go over to... Let's go over to the other base. And I want to see... How many golden flowers that we should have th three golden flowers i think we found a total of three golden chests but we also have those white one or two of those white flowers that are the next highest level um so yeah let's just see what we have here okay so yeah we have three golden flowers and we have a tusk, uh, one tusca, and then a bunch of nolnas too. I'll tell you what. Let's do. Let's make. Let's make a total of four tier three veggie tubes, to support the three golden flowers and this flower here, and then we'll put the other uh, nolnas that we brought back and fill all these up in here and, and let those continue on. So if we're going to do four of these, we need to do two uh, tier two solar panels. Oh, look at that. We already have grass. That's awesome. <laughs> now, I wonder if... Does this grass stay here once we move this? I, you, I would think so. Um... What? Really? Why did why did that happen? It's just it's just supposed to plant the grass, but once the grass is there, why why did it? Yeah, I don't know. That seems weird. It kind of shows us a a green uh, area too that the grass grows in. Okay, that's bizarre. I don't know. Okay, anyway, um, I want to grab. Well, first of all, we need to grab enough stuff for two of these. So, iron mag, silicon, aluminum, and cobalt. Two mags. Two irons. Two silicons, four cobalt, and two aluminum. That should give us enough to build two of these. All right, and then we're going to uh. Hey, wait. What did I do with those nolna seeds? Oh, they're here. Okay. Let's. I've got. I don't remember how many of those I have over there. So let's just take all the Nolnas over there. I'm going to actually start a new row of these. Because if, you know, if we don't come across more uranium anytime soon, we're going to have to set up a bunch more of these. Anyway. Which we can do. I mean, they're relatively cheap. If we have to. Okay, so what we're going to do here is we're going to... Six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, we have enough. Okay. So we're going to swap all of these out for Nolnas. Oh, that's already a Nolna. Okay. Uh, oh, and those are two. Okay. And then we're going to take the higher level ones and put them in the tier threes over at our new base. Okay, so everything over here is a Nolna. 
Very good. All right, let's go back to the base. Okay, those are the four we're going to put in the tier threes. Okay, now to make those, we need two silicons, a mag, and an aluminum. So that means we need to, uh, eight silicons and four mags and four aluminums. And then we also need one water bottle per thing. Here, let's see if we can grab those from out here. Okay, we'll need one more. Okay, so um, can we put these? Can we put these on the roof? No. It looks like they have to be on the ground. Okay. So I think what we'll do then is we'll line these up. We could put them kind of down this little corridor here. Oh. Hmm. We can put them underneath part of the way, but actually we don't want to do that anyways because we're going to... I, I still need to put some iron foundations there. Okay, so let's get that right about in the center. Put that one there. Put the golden seed in it. The next one. Golden seed. Golden seed. And Tuska seed. All right, there we go. This thing is generating 62. Point four PPQs. Just one of these. It's amazing. Okay. How much is this guy doing? Does it tell us? This whole building generates O2. Uh, oh, here. We can actually look here. That does 108. Okay. So a biodome is still more than a golden flower in a tier three veggie tube. But still, that's that's pretty damn good for our O2, I think. Uh, why is there no movement there? Or there, for that matter. Are, did we lose power? No. Wait a minute, what? It says... Here, turn that off. It says it's generating... Oxygen. Then what the hell, man? The only thing I have movement on is pressure. And and biomass very slowly. The heat and the O2 the O2 should be going nuts right now. I'm confused. Oh! We hit liquid water, you guys. Wait a minute. Does that have something to do with why these are standing still? Does, oh, no, that move. Oh, you know what's happening? Okay, I get it. I get it. That's probably parts per billion, maybe. Or that B means some big number because it did just move. It's just doing it in much larger increments. 
because this is the measurement of where we're at, but this is what's happening per second. So we're, we're okay. I, I just, it, it took me by surprise at first because I wasn't used to, to seeing that move. But no, things are actually working fine. All right. Well, we should start expecting to see water accumulate in the in the low low areas maybe after the next rain happens perhaps I don't see it yet but uh, that is my expectation and I think the lakes stage is probably either when the, the lakes are completely filled up or well I guess I don't know for sure hmm okay cool very cool. All right, we're going to do one more thing before I let you guys go. Um, I want to go check. Uh, I want to go check our other ore extractor and see if it has put, you know, maybe grab some aluminum or something. All right. Well, that's awesome. We are now in the water stage, ladies and gentlemen. We don't see it yet, but uh, we should start seeing it soon. Making progress. Um, I'm I'm thinking that I don't remember for sure, but I'm thinking that once, probably once we get a little ways into the water stage, when we actually start seeing some of it accumulate, um, that'll probably be about as far as I've been in this game when I played it, you know, back in the day because I remember having small amounts of water but not uh, but you know but not huge amounts like we didn't I didn't have big lakes when I stopped playing the first time so yeah we're getting very close to the point where you know everything e even I haven't been you know this far along which is cool I like that it's all new experience for us I, I ended up moving this thing over here, too, because it was just getting basic ores in the first place that I set it. Okay. Yeah, see, this is just basic shit. The other thing, too, is it shows an iron ore down here. So, I don't... Yeah, I don't quite get that. I'm not sure what I'm doing wrong. Let's try something else. Let's... Let's actually move this to a different location. We'll try it in a couple different spots and just see what it does. Yeah, see that just shows iron, okay. Do we have to put it there's an aluminum right there. Oh, look. Super alloy. We'll take it. We'll take it. Do I have to put it, like, right on top of the ore? Oh, let's grab this. All right. Well, it's not on top of it, but it's right next to it. It still just shows iron. Yeah, I don't know. I don't get it. Or maybe, maybe it's that because this is a tier one, maybe that's all it can do is get the basic ores. It does seem to imply, though, that it extracts ores from the ground depending on where it's placed. That, I interpret that as meaning if you place it in a place that has, say, aluminum, then it'll get aluminum. But that's not what it appears to be doing. See, it still just shows iron. So maybe it is the case that it's because it's a tier one, it can just get the basic ores. That's my guess at this point. Um, if you guys have other information about that, feel free to let me know in the comments. All right, we're getting some, some rain here. I want to do one more thing, actually. 
Might as well just keep this here for now. Okay. Let's go back over to that cave that had the uranium in it. I want to just look one last time to see if we might have possibly missed one. Because if we can just find one more... Oh, look, there's water! Oh, man. That is amazing. So we have a puddle of water, ladies and gentlemen. It is a beautiful thing. This isn't actually the right cave, but let's poke our head in here for a second, too. Um, because I wanted to... Okay, so that needs to be at 5-something Kelvin before it starts melting. Um, this is the cave, actually, that we picked up the sulfur inside of. Is there anything up on the shelf here? Can't quite... Oh, uh, there we go. Oh, there is! Nice! I'll take that stuff. They really, they really made it um, worthwhile to explore in this game. I had no idea that chest was up there. <laughs> I just saw the ledge and figured, you know what? Maybe we ought to check up on that ledge. And sure enough, okay. So we got another squash seed. That was actually the best thing we pulled out of there. But the other stuff doesn't suck either. Uh, all right, let's go. Oh, we got a puddle of water. <laughs> I love it. I am a terraformation specialist, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, indeed. I created a puddle of water. Um, <laughs> all right, let's just pop her head back in that uranium cave really quick. Just in case I might have possibly missed one, because if we can just find one more of those damn things, we can, um, we can make another uranium rod and another power plant, which then will open up, you know, uh, more stuff for us. I don't think I've ever been so excited about a puddle of water in my life. What I'm thinking we might do, uh, for the next episode is go over to the starter area and set up a just a, a small outpost and loot the shit out of all the wrecks in the area because there's a lot of good stuff in those wrecks. Uh, yeah, no, we don't need any of that. Okay, let's just go see if we might have possibly missed one uranium in here. I don't think we did, but you never know. You know, it looks like there's a shelf up there, too. There is, but... I don't see anything up here. Oh, no, we're not going up there. That's no man's land. That's where weird shit starts to happen when you glitch through the terrain. All right. Yeah, I don't, uh, I don't really want that stuff. I don't see it. Okay, well, it was worth a try. Um, there's a pretty decent chance that we'll find, um, some uranium in the wrecks in the starter area. So, yeah, I think that's the plan for the next episode. So I'm going to head back to the base, um, get, uh, kind of prepared. You know, the thing is, though, is, yeah, let's head back to the base and just take our loot back that we have. Um, is there anything up on the top of here? Let's just check. Last time I went up on top of one of these, I found a golden chest at the end. Uh, no, there isn't.
Why? Why is there? Wait, what? Why are there two of my buildings and an escape pod over there? I don't remember putting that stuff there. That's my building. I'm intrigued. This is a single player game, <laughs> so nobody else is on the game. Well, that's not going to happen until the 10th anyways. This is new, you guys. Holy crap. Do we... Oh, we don't replenish O2 in here, but hey. Oh, there we go. And a squash, too. Is this like another... Yeah, this is like another starting zone. Oh, wow. Okay. I can't deconstruct any of that. Oh, look at that, though. Look at that. Oh, nice. Jeez Louise. This can't be a starting area. Who would give that much super alloy at the start of the game? This is probably just another outpost that's here, you know, and is abandoned for us to find and get our uranium rod. Oh, beautiful. This is great, you guys. This is fan freaking tastic. Okay, well, we got a free uranium rod and we got a piece of uranium, so that means we can make two more nuclear power plants. Not one, but two. No, two. <laughs> I know, I'm being a little silly, sorry. It's been a long day at work and I'm just a little rummy. Let's just pop down here really quick and take a look-see. I got an oxygen thingy, right? Yeah. Oh, okay, good. That one goes down further. Oh, on Tusca Seed. That's good. We're going to leave the rest of that. Uh. It goes down even further. All right. Did we? Okay, let's. What's that? Oh, that's a Lerma seed. Oh, this place is big, you guys. All right. Um. Bio. Oh, we got a mushroom seed. Nice. Um. Let's drink that. We'll take this bioplastic thing, my dude. I don't know what the hell it's for. Um. Let's grab the Tusca seed. And we need to take this oxygen. Oh, it keeps going. All right. We're going to start the next episode by exploring this place. This is this place is big. It's way bigger than the one we found at the volcano. You know, the funny thing, too, is I've been walking by this place multiple times, but just right over on the other hill. I never actually came over this direction. And we wouldn't have even seen it had we not climbed up on that cliff, which is quite fortuitous, if you ask me. Um, nice. All right. So, yeah, I'm going to go back to the base, drop stuff off. Uh, we will start the next episode by coming back here and investigating that huge bunker. But we've already found some really good stuff, you know, just in the little bit that we have done. There's the, uh, there's the lava biome back over that way. Uh, in fact... We should be able to just go this way and cross through here to get home. I think. <laughs> yeah, there's a... Oh, okay, no, that's our... That was our little shed that we set up. Uh... I mean, I know I can jetpack across that lava, but to be quite frank with you, with all of this valuable shit in my inventory, I'm not inclined to do so. Okay, let's just go back the other way. Um, we are cutting it close, though, on our O2. I think we'll be okay. We got a couple of... Okay, we got a building right over there. We'll make it. We'll be fine. I was just... 
Just a teensy tiny bit worried there for a second, but we'll be good. Okay, so yeah, plan is for the next episode, we'll we'll begin the episode by investigating um, that wreck. And then, depending upon how our time goes, um, we're, we're going to go set up an outpost in the starter area so that we can loot the three ships that are in that area. And we should get a lot of stuff, but this is cool. We got a mushroom seed and a squash seed. The squash is actually better than mushrooms, but mushrooms are better than eggplant. Uh, we found this bioplastic nugget. I don't know what the hell that's for, but I'm sure we'll need it later on. We got a free uranium rod and the ability to make another uranium rod. So I'm going to set up two more power plants, nuclear power plants, which will then enable us to, you know, continue building more things. And we got a bunch of super alloy and, and a couple of Tusca seeds uh, and some chips too. So yeah, very good run. Uh, all right, guys, that is it for this episode. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share the video. And we'll catch you all in the next episode. Bye-bye.